dear friend for coming today. I know it's Sunday, and Sunday is supposed to be family day and with your family and all that. But but also this time is also election time, as you see the municipal election is kind of heating up, and I myself was very busy. Uh, but again, I want to thank you very much for for being here today. Uh, this is my first time uh, meeting the media after announcing my candidacy for the municipal election. And my name is Michael Chen. I'm running for York Regional Councillor, representing Markham. As you know, Markham has four positions uh, in terms of York Regional Councillor, and I want to be one of those for councillor come October 24. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, briefly the thing that I prepared for today. Uh, it won't be that long because I want to have the floor uh, questions that you may have. I think that would be much more meaningful in terms of engaging in terms of uh, really answer to what's in your mind about my my coming back to all the actually uh, I have been knocking on door uh, a number of days and one of the one of the exciting exciting response from the uh, people who opened the door is oh Michael you're back <laughs> yes I am back and what a what a pleasure to to come back. Uh, many people ask me why I kind of like retire. The, it's quite simple. You, my my knee wasn't very uh, good in 2017 and 2018, and I remember I went to my fellow colleague, uh, now the MP Hong Dong. He he was an MPP and he had a fundraising event downtown Toronto. And I remember I went to his uh, fundraising event, but then I wasn't walking. I have to have two crutches, both sides, uh, dipping in. And, and actually, uh, the, the premier of the day, uh, Kathleen Wynne also attended a fundraising event for Hong Dong. And she was very surprised to see me uh, on, on crutches. Anyway, the, the knee wasn't good, and and I think about I can't go around anymore, knocking on door and all these inconveniences. So I decided to to, to retire from politics. But then some luck happened. Uh, I was traveling in Southeast Asia and ending up in Guangzhou, and I went to this. Uh 所以就我說這個這個金角啊把我的把我的膝蓋弄得弄得不錯最後回來了就經過幾年的就消失了哈就先在走路走路也可以了啊anyway so I'm going to get to uh, uh so that 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 was my my re one of the reasons that I I come back uh, for politics. Uh, as I, my first flyer indicate, uh, I, I'm going to run on uh, my experience. I believe that I had long years of experience, 11 years, and also I was the cabinet minister, which I think had more insurance in terms of managing, managing portfolio, addressing government files and 
policies and all that. Uh, the second reason, uh, as you see, my mom fire is that I actually fight, fight quite a bit. I fight for when uh, the minimum pay. Uh, sorry if you, <laughs> you know, it was jumping from eleven fifty or eleven forty five to fifteen dollars, and I had a lot of response from like restaurant or uh, the supermarket. They say the jump is too much, and I actually fight very much for this particular sudden increase, and that's why. Actually, that's why after talking to the premier, uh, these two tier, you know, uh, we will look back for the liberal policies. Anyway, I just want to let you know those are the, some of the examples I actually fight quite hard. Uh, the third is uh, I will consider the accomplishment that I uh, able to make during my time uh, with the uh, provincial government. And I think someone is it Chan Yong. Uh, you know, she talked to me and I kind of like elaborate some policies. I think I talked to other people and then suddenly it come to my mind. I do, I do have many, many uh, kind of like accomplishment or success story that uh, during the 11 years uh, with government. So those are the three, uh, based on these three, uh, I would say uh, attributes that I'm, uh, I'm going to run. Uh, convincing the the, uh, the voters to support me uh, for the upcoming October 24 municipal election. Of course, later on, I would have my specific so-called policies uh, to 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 release. But at this point of time, you know, because of campaign and we still have about six weeks to go. So hold your horse when you're looking for policies.